Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be migrating or telling you how to migrate the app from before to uh, create React app to Vite and uh, this is assuming you didn't make any this is assuming that you did make changes if you didn't make any changes you can follow the newly created GitHub repository which is a complete template with instructions on how to how to get all the boilerplate out of the way which is really simple you just do you just create a Vite app, okay? And then you just do yarn add the Tauri CLI. You just copy the contents of every file here. So you go from source Tauri to source all of these files, except for maybe view example. Then you copy main.py if you want to, paxes.json, which is really important, and vite.config. And then you just do yarn in the directory to install them. Then you do yarn dev and you can start developing. And if you are on a laptop or something that's, that's a bit slow, you can look at the tips, which is use yarn pi after a single pip install pi web view if you do not want to wait for the compile time of that Tauri takes because it's on Rust and Rust has the slowest <laughs> compile times ever. And of course, I have another tip, which is what I do, which is set always on top to true when I'm developing, which is how I can... Uh, that's why when I was doing my videos, the app was always on the top. Here's some screenshots, of course. So it's really professional now. But anyways, otherwise, if you are if you already have the React app, then you need some help. If you searched up on Google, you'll probably come across something which does not share some, which is a bit outdated. So my advice is that for that outdated thing, I have a better way to, so that you don't do anything that's outdated. Now you'll see that I've, in the step number two, you're actually creating a VDAP. So when you're migrating, you don't need to actually, you, you might think you don't need to create a VDAP, but suppose the tutorial you're following, like mine, is outdated. So you can create an app for like, to just see the structure of the VDAP to, uh, in the modern day. So I did this and I came, I got this directory. And what I did is that I looked at each file in this directory, except for node modules, of course. I looked at each of these files and you notice that these files get renamed. So all the React apps, sorry, React files get renamed to JSX and all the JavaScript apps can stay the same. So, sorry, files. So that's why you see the i18n is still a .js, but something like home or app.jsx is, is a JSX file and not a JS file. And you'll see that instead of index.js, it's main.jsx. And it's basically, you just, you just rename the file. You don't actually have to create a new file, you just rename it. The next thing you'll notice is you probably would have started off with packs.json and you'll see that it is very, it is very clean. There isn't much stuff to do. You just have to do add some dependencies, which is already there. So you just have to add the dev dependencies and remove React scripts. Then you just have to edit the the script section, which is pretty simple. So instead of dev, you want to use start, because if you're developing a a desktop app, you are your dev your development mode is Tauri dev, not not uh, Vite dev, where you just need the server, where you're just working on the front end. Unless you're, unless you only use React, so you're not building a desktop app, then you can keep it like this. But if you're following my tutorials, then you do it this way, where dev is for the primary development, and you add a start if you don't care about Tauri at the moment. There's also release that is already there, and of course we can go down to some other things, which is, I'm not sure if there's anything else. Oh yeah, so you just remove React scripts and you're good from dependencies. So that's enough for package.json. Then the next thing you want to look at is index.html. So you'll see that this is their index.html. In my opinion, it's very bare bones compared to what create React app does. So create React app, it gives you, it already creates all the meta like it creates the, let's see, for for once, for one, it has the fav icon to ico. 
So over here, it's a, an SVG, which might not exist. So it does exist here, but it's your personal preference, you know? But React does give you some of these helpers. So like, for example, the, the progressive web app for the JSON with the manifest and as well as the index.css if you want it. So these things. And you'll notice that there's no percent public URL percent. So in your code, you have to remove all those instances and replace them with nothing. And at the bottom, right below div, you want to add a script that is linked to main.jsx. All right. And after that, the last thing you want to look at is vite.config.js. Now you'll see that it's, if you copy this, then you'll, you'll fall for a trap because if you're developing a desktop app and we already started with create react app, we actually need to do some other things. We actually need to specify the out directory to build because the default for Vite is dist. And you can actually choose whether to use dist or build in the Tauri config, but in my opinion, I think it should be with build because it's intermediary. The, the, since you're not developing a, a, only a front end app, you're developing a desktop app, this build is actually not a distribution, it's a intermediary, so we would go and build. If you, on the other hand, you were actually building a front end, then you don't need to add this build because they would make sense that this is because you're distributing it, so it would just be in this, so it makes sense. Now, I believe I have covered all my bases. So with that said, I'll just talk about what's going on in the next video. In the next video, I'll just be doing some small towery things. So like remembering the window. So it's just a small video, but you know, I can push it out in one day so that on Sunday or something, I can start working on, I can work more on my own app. So it'll be a, a huge break actually before I create more videos. So yeah, again, I hope you found this video useful and yeah, stick around.